Hi there. Hope you're having a great day today. It is beautiful and sunny here. A nice soft breeze from the ocean. And I can feel myself compartmentalizing. I don't know how you are, but I find that there are moments where I am present to everything that's going on, but it feels as if a part of me has stepped aside and is just kind of standing back and watching while another part of me that needs to get stuff done steps in and takes over and so that get it done uh, Simran is is here as a warrior today she is just fully present and um, got her battle boots on to get all kinds of stuff accomplished today it is the last two days really in Charleston and so there's a lot of winding up and packing up and getting the last bits and details completed and so I sent this morning um, with some interesting conversations from the universe because the first thing that popped up this morning uh, was a phone call about my will. <laughs> it seems that um, you know, since the divorce, that was something that, uh, and life insurance was something that came up for renewal and focus because we had not dealt with that. And that seemed to be the conversation this morning. So, you know, that brought in that whole concept of mortality and, you know, the details, the, the things in life that supposedly we're supposed to do to be practical. And so I watched myself as I went through that conversation and, you know, I have such a different view on death now because I feel like we die all the time. I feel like we are here to have experiences that we birth and tie, die to on a consistent basis, that we are in essence experience experiencing itself. And so change is like our mantra. It is to constantly birth and die and rebirth. And so it was an interesting conversation. And uh, then the next conversation that I had to take care of was in regard to the schooling for Sage, because, you know, I'm, he's going to be homeschooled. So I was getting all the details in place to abide by the laws that have to, uh, that guide us or tell us, you know, how it has to be done. And, and it's been such an amazing experience because the school he goes to, the teachers there have been incredible. They have gone above and beyond. I mean, it just goes to show, you know, what humanity is like. They don't need to go above and beyond because he's not a part of that school this year. But I spoke to them and told them, you know, I really want him to return and be up to par with his classmates. And they have gone above and beyond in offering ideas and what the curriculum is going to be and offering to be supportive help all along the way throughout the year. They think it's incredible that he's getting this opportunity of uh, an altered, um, different type of learning experience. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see how he grows, how it affects him, how it affects me. I mean, I, I think that those children, what they're going to experience is going to allow me to see life in a different way. And so it's, it's really quite interesting. And then, and then it was the details of trying to get newsletters done and printed materials completed that need to be brought with us and printed and you know just all the things you know what has to be put in the RV it's all of, of that kind of stuff happening today and it's all good stuff it's just uh, I can feel I can feel the brain making its little pockets of okay this goes here and this goes here and isn't that what we do and and it's in those moments that I truly realize that the body is the spacesuit and the brain is a file cabinet and we are definitely not the body or the brain. We are completely the heart. So if today you're going throughout your day and something happens with your body, or your brain goes into its way it goes into, remember, you are not the body, you are not the brain. You are the heart and soul. You are the essence that fills this vehicle. So just catching you up on some things, practicing my singing. Had a vocal lesson yesterday, made such strides. Oh, that was a good thing. Got my last one on Saturday after my book signing that is taking place in Charleston. So if you're in the area, come out and say hi and give me a shout out. Well, let me get back to work. The compartmentalized brain is saying he's got stuff to do. So um, that's my check-in for today. In love, of love, with love, and as love. I hope you have the most incredible day. 
and I hope that it brings you opportunities and open doors and powerful encounters and that it is one that is filled with bliss and joy and happiness and the awakening of many dreams and new births. Take care. Bye.